Hello everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting and I am currently working through the book The Red Sea Rules by Robert J. Morgan. This is the book that we are working through together um, as the By the Well for God community. And rule number one is realize that God means for you to be where you are. So as I'm working through this, you'll see me use a lot of vintage paper. This is actually in Polish and is super fragile paper. That's why I used some collage medium to make sure it's stuck down. And you can see here, actually, I end up just bending it, the last little section that I need to tear off and it just splits perfectly for me. So that's how um, brittle it is. And so collage medium is really good for things like that. Um, but let me kind of talk to you about this um, book and where I am reading in. Um, so number one, like I said, the Red Sea rules is going to go over 10 different rules um, that the Red Sea taught the Israelites. And so, um, in this rule number one, we're talking about how God has us in a certain um, place for a certain time. And Robert J. Morgan um, quotes A.W. Tozer, which says, To the child of God, there is no such thing as an accident. He travels in an appointed way. Accidents may indeed appear to befall him and misfortune stalk his way, but these evils will be so in appearance only and will seem evils only because we cannot read the secret script of God's hidden providence. So as you can see here, this is going to be a very simple background. I just have a bunch of vintage papers that I wanted to use. Since this mini kit doesn't have a paper pack, this is the perfect time to bring in those papers that you've been hoarding or wanting to use. And I am using the collage medium on this whole background because putting down a doily with glue is just way too tedious for me. And so this works out perfectly, just making a thin layer of collage medium on the bottom. And then I go over the whole thing with collage medium as well. So the only issue with collage medium is it is super sticky. So I make sure to use my heat tool and make sure that it is dry before I move on to anything else. Because if you have any oozing out or anything, it will definitely stick all your Bible pages together. So just be careful of that. A lot of times I will slide a paper underneath what I'm working on as well as you saw before um, so that can help you out as well. So now I'm turning to work on this cluster. On my spiritual prescription card you see um, that I've written out a little thing that says I am here. One, by God's appointment. Two, in his keeping. Three, under his training. And four, for his time. This is a quote from Andrew Murray, um, the South African pastor. And that is just something um, to mull over and to be reminded about. So I also have some fabric that I want to use. I have this fun light pink fabric. And I also have this lace that I picked up online. I shared on my Instagram stories the other day. So I'm trying to stitch those together. It's not going to be perfect. I actually like it a little not perfect. And I'm going to make a cluster up here with this beautiful little floral ephemera piece. I did fussy cut those out beforehand, um, just tighter to the actual picture. And as you can see here, I have just the slightest amount of brown on this brush and I am just brushing it over the doily so it's not so much of a stark white against everything else. I do have a little trouble trying to figure out where I want this fabric piece. Originally, I was going to have it below um, on the bottom half of that flash card that says upholds, but then I really liked it together with the floral piece, so I'm just taking a break and just grunching up all the edges while I'm trying to think of where I actually want this cluster placed. And sometimes if I can't figure it out, honestly, I just start gluing stuff down because then you just kind of have to make a decision. So that's what I end up doing here. I think I want the fabric and the floral together, but I'm not sure exactly. So I'm just going to start slapping things down on this paper and figuring it out as I go. Now I did use my Barely Arts glue to glue down my fabric cluster. 
And honestly, I came back and used the little amount of Fabri-Tac glue that I have left. I'm sure Bailey Arts glue would work if you had time to just sit there, hold it down and let it dry, but I just don't have that kind of time. Um, so use Fabri-Tac to start with if you have it. Um, but anyways, I wanted to add some metal to this. And so I ended up grabbing a little pin that I had on hand. And honestly, I wanted to add a pearl bead to the pin, um, but I didn't have any beads on hand. I really should pick some up. Um, and I honestly thought about taking apart a really old necklace that I have that I don't wear anymore, but then I just felt horrible doing that. So instead, I went through my stash and found this really cool brassy kind of button that I got in one of my house of book subscriptions and so i added that to um, my pin yes it does add chunk to my bible no i don't really care because i like chunk and i like adding that special piece um i did kind of grunge up my edge of that flash card with my scissors and added a little bit more of distress ink and now i'm going to prop it up with this foam tape i don't want to forget to add my date stamp and i add it to the opposite side on the left hand side of the page and that way it doesn't take away from anything on the right hand side I also want to grunge up my cards just a little bit more, so I'll use my fingernails to kind of grunge up that spiritual prescription card and make it look more natural and not so pasted down. And I also fold over the top right hand corner of that flash card, and then this page will be done. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Wonderfully Made Handcrafting. Thank you so much for watching. I'll put all my links down below. Those are affiliate links. So thank you so much for using those. And I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.